halftime now between the Paranaque Patriots and the Quezon Huskers. The Huskers have been dominating this game so far. They're up 50 to 25 after the first 20 minutes of action. A lot of guys stepping up, but Rodel Rivera has continued to step up to the plate for their team. He is the reigning player of the week. Dito sa ating league after he top scored against Montilupa in their last game. Everything going the side of Quezon Huskers. You see the field goal percentage 54 compared to only 23 para dito sa Paranaque. And then the three point field goals, nine made threes already for the Quezon Huskers. Only three para sa Paranaque. Inside points also controlled by Quezon 18 to 6. And of course, the most important for the coaches, the way they have been playing is the whole team is getting a hold of that basketball. 13 assists para sa Quezon, only six para dito sa Paranaque. So much more has to happen defensively and offensively for the Patriots if they want to be able to come back in this ballgame. The Patriots uh, are finding themselves in a similar predicament as compared to their game against Bacolod. In fact, they only shot 37.5% to end the game against the City of Smiles and they, they were in a similar rate at the end of the first half in that match. As we look at their leading scorers, Pito leads the back with 6, Galeana with 5 and Nduba and O'Malley combining for 6 points. Para sa kumpunan ni Coach Stephen Mopera, kabila naman, Alvin Napunto with 13 points, Tamsi with 11, Thomas Torres with 7, and Jeric Teng, who was scored as against Montilupa, now has 5 after the first half. You know, a lot of guys really stepping up out of dito. Sakez and Huskers, guys, you're not even seeing on the scoring column. They are at the top in this game is because of that man, Al Francis Tamsi. Mr. Right Wing, Al Francis Tamsi, already with 4 three-pointers here in the ballgame. 16 points and two rebounds and of course his shots have been huge for them to get the rhythm and eventually a 31 point lead to end the third quarter so they cannot have this kind of a mindset to end the ball game if they want to be able to secure that fourth spot but in today's ball game that first three quarters will be enough para dito sa Kez and Huskers for them to be able to get this victory 75 to 61 in favor of the Kez and Huskers and a well-deserved win for the Kevin Huskers. Defending well in the first half, scoring their three-pointers. And of course, one guy really making a lot of the baskets, Al Francis Tamsi. 16 points, two rebounds and two steals. And those three-pointers in the first half were huge for them to be able to get a comfortable lead and eventually the victory by the Huskers. But of course, we'd also like to acknowledge guys like Alvin Apunto, who had 30 points, Jerry Teng had 9, Thomas Torres, who had 6 rebounds and 5 assists in this game. A lot of great contributors para sa Quezon sa laro na to, which contributed to this victory. Their 19th of the season, second to the last game, ending up in a W for the team of Coach Eric Gonzalez. They will be facing the Marikina Shoemasters, as we've been talking about for the duration of the match. Next week, that's going to happen on October 3. Our best player of the game, Al Francis Tamsi, is at courtside with Mr. Yano Lianas. Yes, congratulations to Al Francis Tamsi, our best player of the game. Pang apat mo ng best player of the game ito. Para sa'yo, ano yung ginagawa mo? Para consistent ka talaga para sa kopanan niyo. Uh, wala namang ano eh, kakaiba eh. So, binibigay lang namin yung best namin. Tsaka, uh, extra work lang palagi, insayo. Seryoso lang sa insayo yun. Tamsi, alam ko rin, ang huling eliminations game nyo is actually on October 3. That's going to be against Zamboanga. At yun ang magdedetermine kung may home court advantage na kayo sa playoffs. Paano nyo paghahandaan yung laro yun? Ayun, uh, uh, papahinga kami ngayon, tsaka bukas. And then, uh, next page na, paghahandaan namin yung Marikina. Okay, and I know that extra motivation talaga sa inyo habang naglalaro kayo dito sa home court nyo. So, pasalamatan mo naman lahat ng sumuporta, whether it be here sa inyong home court or sa mga nanonood ngayon. Uh, first of all, pas papasalamat ako kay Lord Jesus Christ sa panalo. At saka sa mga nanonood, Quezon Province, the best talaga yung crowd dito. At saka kay Governor Helen Tan, happy birthday sa'yo. At saka kay Mayor Al Flim and family, uh, Bangayan family, uh, Boss Adre Bangayan, uh, Lola Cora Bangayan, Doc Evet, uh, si Boss L.A. Ruanto, 
Saka lahat ang sumusuporta at mga teammates ko, credit sa mga teammates ko. Well, thank you very much again. That was our best player of the game, Al Francis Tamsi. And that player of the game is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MPBL with OK Bet. Together, we win. Magbabalik po ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League.